It's Wednesday night, and you know what that means. AEW Dynamite! The first answer to WWE WrestleMania! And you know I had to come to you live and tell you what it's all about. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas and Caballeros, wrestling fans throughout the multiverse! Welcome to Gary Lamb, Paid of Earth Mania! Oh yeah! And you know who I gotta show. My little bro, he's very... Friendly, the great panda. Hey, panda, what would you rate? What letter grade would you give the first dynamite to answer WrestleMania? Panda's more into fetch, chase the panda, and doing tricks. All right, panda. Panda's got to get ready to rest. One thing that's nice is to have a tag team main event for the belt that means something. Contrast number one. Contrast number one. And you know, I might be an easy grader. I'm going to come straight out. WrestleMania and the first Dynamite after get the same grade. A B minus. A B minus. But you know who gets the best grade? The best grade is JR! Nothing like hearing JR saying, It's Wednesday night! And you know what that means. It's going to be a fun night of wrestling. It's always going to be something action-packed. There's always going to be some mistakes. always going to be some delays. All right? But started with a couple pros. Christian Cage and Adam Cole, baby! First things first, Dynamite Crowd is lit up. I see some WrestleMania, old school WrestleMania t-shirts. Dynamite Crowd is pumped up after WrestleMania. Everybody's pumped up after WrestleMania. The granddaddy of them all. AEW's first chance to respond. They counter, boom, uppercut. First thing they throw at you, Jim Ross right in your face. All your announcers suck compared compared to JR. Actually, they're getting better. WWE answers are getting better. Ain't nothing like good old JR. Christian Cage versus Adam Cole. Good solid match. I'll give it a nice B. I hope Christian's okay. Christian did this move where he did like this uh, leapfrog over the middle, over the, uh, the the side pole or the the pole and the over in the corner. Adam Cole missed him. Christian's okay. But Christian was pissed after the match. He had an interview with Jungle Boy and uh, Luchasaurus. He just walked away. Yep, there's Beef. Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus. Adam Cole, baby! And the for here's former NX NX um, NXT click. What's it all about? Don't know. I give it a B. It was a good matchup. But what it led to, a Texas death match. First of all, this show's sucking so far. I don't know. I got I to gotta reboot this show. My production is not good. I'm hot. I'm hot in these shades. I'm hot in this hat. But I don't want to take it off because I feel like I look real cool right now. So let's keep shooting. This is setting up a Texas death match between Adam Page versus Adam Cole. I care about that. Next Friday night on Rampage. That's one thing, Rampage. It's an only an hour, but you know you got a main event over there for the heavyweight championship of the world. I'm looking forward to seeing that. It's not a B show. It's just a Friday show on TNT. Dynamite. Looking forward to that. The highlight of the show for me was the Dynamite debut debut of Samoa Joe. Cho, 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 Cho. It was a squash match, but man, kudos to his opponent. One of my favorites. 
Platinum. Max Caster. He came out and said he was top level. And Joe was exhibition. Joe's like, yeah. Talk bad about, uh, in, you know, he comes out with a rap. He say, yeah, you're injury prone. Joe's like, yep. Basically, Joe just beat his ass. Max Caster came out as a top heel. I mean, not a top heel, but a good heel. You know, he stepped to Joe, got his ass kicked like he should have. Put up a good fight. Joe sent him a good night. Joe, just what a what a diverse offense he has. He has um, very aggressive, very believable. Um, he kept it short and sweet, entertained. Um, just an aggressive, athletic specimen. Love to see him. But man, Samoa Joe, how'd you put Jay Lethal on a list of pay me no mind for four months? I'm like, Jay, what's going That's one thing. I was like, what's going on with Jay Lethal? Black machismo. How could you put Jay Lethal on a list of pay me no mind for four months, Joe? That ain't right, man. I'm hoping Jay Lethal gets a win. I, I can't see him beating Joe. But, you know, I'm in, I want to see Jay Lethal get some push. Um, I was excited to see him come to AEW. This is one of a lot of people's favorites. Who doesn't like Black Machismo? And it's Jay Lethal. We got, we got, got to do some more with Jay Lethal. So I'm, I'm happy maybe getting, getting a spot with some old Joe. Maybe there's something in the future. Something in the future I don't see yet. But I'm looking this forward to seeing this uh, this rivalry between Joe and Jay Lethal. I like that already. There was an interview by the Blackpool Combat Club. Brian Danielson, John Moxley, William Regal. All WWE guys. We'll see what's up. I'll, I'll I'll wait and see on that. It's believable that these guys would stick together, but you know, I'm not too excited. You know, I'm not I'm not too excited yet. What was that? Okay, halfway halfway to the 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 review or the replay of Dynamite. My man Sean Spears versus Sean Dean. Sean Spears needs a new gimmick. Because he ain't right now a 10, 10, 10, 10. The chairman, ah, I don't love it. I don't love it. JR is alluding to it during the, uh, during the match. He's like, he's missing something. And what it, what it is, that's what every pro wrestler seems like they're trying to find. That gimmick that takes him to the next level. Nothing really wrong with Sean Spears. But, you know. Is MJF holding him back? Nah, he's just part of the pinnacle. I, I like I like that MJF and uh, Sean Spears are, are paired up a little bit. Just Sean, Sean, he just needs something. He needs something a little bit. He needs, he needs a little bit of help. He needs an idea. And then he, his career can take off. His matches are fun to watch. In fact, I'm going to tell you. Everything had me going. Christian versus Adam Cole, baby. Samoa Joe, Max Caster. The promo was great for Max Caster. The butt kicking was deserved. Joe was a total face. The start of the match with um, Sean, Captain Sean Dean. Sean Dean always puts up a good show. People must really like him because everyone's giving him props all the time. Sean Spears was a better wrestler. Ooh, that neck breaker. He, ugh, whatever that was. Like, ugh, that was madness. And he picks him up. And then he goes for the fireman's carry. He's probably going to do the Death Valley driver. And then out of nowhere. Now, this is where AEW, man, we got to step it up. When it's just wrestling, when it's just hype, you're winning the game. You are winning the game. But these delays in storyline, it's just annoying. Sean's got him up. And for some reason, he has to stop. 
You see security. Rena cops on the ground. Then all of a sudden, of course, everyone knows it's Warlow. Warlow's beating people up. It just took a while to get there. And, you know, when I try to bring someone into the world of press professional wrestling, okay? When I try to bring my fan, not everyone, believe it or not, not everyone likes professional wrestling. So when I kind of bring my friends in there, when I bring, when I bring, you know, maybe maybe a girl I'm dating, and I try to get her to watch wrestling, she's gonna say, "Well, how come you just didn't pin him? How come you just how come you stopped and watched?" So help me out, help me out, Tony Khan, AEW Productions, whoever's back there. Get to it quicker. Get to it quicker, right? I don't have an explanation. Just get to it. Warlow comes out, looks dominant. Real cool. Just that delay. Have that happening during the match. Have Warlow going wild during the match. And MGF getting more and more nervous. All right? That's it. Make me look. Help me help you. All right, help me help you. I have ADHD. I get distracted. You're making me lose the feel of being lost in the match. All right, help me out. Wardlow looks strong. I guess the real cops finally got him. Boom. Captain gets another victory over the pinnacle. Nice job, Captain. We'll see where it goes. Just get to the point. Do it a little bit better. We start slipping over here. All right? Best friends. Wheeler Uda. Is he in or out? We'll find out. I'm not worried. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. I think these factions, there's too, there's too many to keep track of. I don't know who's friends with who. Speaking of factions, and been in a lot of factions, my man, Kingston. He's a maniac. He could be anyone's friend or any man at any time. Putting people on notice. What do you say? Any time? I forget the word he said. Um, Kingston, Santana, Ortiz, backstage versus, uh, you got the rival with Jericho. The, um, Jericho Appreciation Squad. I like that Daniel Garcia has has some mentorship. He's part of this group. It's great. Santana Ortiz needed to get out of that. Shout out. They're already bigger. They're already bigger stars. Eddie Kingston always cuts a good promo. Eddie Kingston does his homework. He brought up... Uh, they're going to Louisiana. Louis, he wants to... Cha he challenged... To a six man, one, two, three on three, six man tag. Um, he brought up it's going to be a junkyard dog versus Butch Reed style matchup. That's the old days. I might even have to YouTube an old uh, Butch Reed JYD matchup. That's why Eddie Kingston cuts good promos. He gets to the heart of the matter. He's hungry. He's crazy. He's believable. He's a good mouthpiece for Santana and Ortiz. We'll see. And I wish my buddy Brett the Baker Reese was here. Maybe I don't. Brett, Brett, don't listen to this. I'm not. I'm not digging this thing between Hook and uh, Ben. Ben. Uh. Oh man. Dan Housen first, and Dan Housen. I like Dan Housen. I like Hook. Hook is believable, incredible. Just leave him alone. Don't let him get involved with comedy, and don't let Dan Housen's curses be set back. Maybe when they're both bigger, it'll be a bigger deal. It'll be a bigger deal. Easy for me to say. Hey, it's like when Papa Shango was big. He said also wars fear on fire fire. I liked it. Okay? Maybe the curse should be the only thing that could stop Hook. But let Hook just dominate for a minute. They don't I don't they don't need that right now. I, I don't I think you're kinda slow you're slowing down both the guys. 
because it makes Dan Housen's curses look weak, and it makes uh, you don't you don't want any comedy with Hook. You you want you want destruction with that guy. So I just like ah, uh, I like both of these guys, but not not in the same world, not yet. You know, we'll see. Jade Cargill, just looking at her, she's dominant. The baddie section, you know what? Whatever. I'm not even going to comment. Hardy Boys! Versus Butcher and the Blade. In a tables match! JR said, I never thought I'd see that again! And you know what? They're probably too old for this. The Hardys are too old for this. Butcher and Blade are underrated tag team. Another good tag team in AEW. I don't know where Bunny went. Nice to see Bunny. Then she went, um, you know, back to the back. I don't know why they're in a tables match. Um, at first, I didn't realize when Jeff Hardy went through the table that you had to put both guys through the through the table. I think we explain the rules to me a little bit more clearly during the match, so we can know what's going on. All right, but it was nice to see. Man, Jeff Hardy out there. I think maybe the highlight, you know, kind of clown on uh, one thing I got to say. And let me give this match a B. I really enjoyed it. But these, these are the things that get you upset, right? Matt Hardy is on the outside of the rail. Butcher and Blade about to lay the smack down on him. And put him through a table. Blade has a chair. Just hit Matt with the damn chair before you suplex him. Just hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Because, you know, when you're trying to get the girl interested in wrestling, why didn't he just hit him? I'm like, damn, why did he just hit him? Hit him, Blade. Do it for me, bro. Hit him. Hit him with the chair, then suplex him. Matt Hardy took a heck of a suplex. You got Butcher and Blade double suplex on top of the uh, the guardrail. Flip him. Jeff moves the table. But Matt just lands right in his back outside there. Holy smokes, these guys take a beating. I don't know how, how the Hardy Bows are still alive. But the, I think the highlight of the night... Jeff Hardy, top of the ladder, Swanton, through a table, for the win. I give it a B. The Hardy Boys are great. They can, it's hard not to cheer for them. But hit the damn guy. Hit him first. Boom. Before you set up a big move, hit the guy with the damn weapon. Hit him with it. Then do, then do the crazy stuff. So he looks knocked out like you're not just waiting. So I don't got to hear, why does he just move? Blah, blah, blah. Help me out, bro. Help a brother out. All right? Julia Hart versus Sheeta. Julia, she kicking away, she's kicking away the varsity bronze. I don't know. Can anyone just stay friends anymore? Are we that shallow? All right, I guess Julia don't like the varsity blondes. Of course, Serena wins. And I, uh, Serena Deeb, uh after the victory by Holy Sheeta. Serena Deeb wants some action. I love Serena Deeb. But another another section where it's just like the timing's just a little bit off. A little bit off. You got Sheeta with her weapon, Deeb with her weapon. No action. No reason why it happened. And this is what all the fuss was over. FTR versus Young Bucks. <laughs> No matter what you think of the Young Bucks, they are exciting. Tremendous contrast of style, hard hitting, lots of action. Big time main event feel. The tag team belts mean something. And I appreciate that. The double tag team belts. You got to learn your lesson from WWE. There's just too many belts can, can water it down. 
I guess, you know, you got to get to this ring of water thing. That's fine. It hasn't watered it down yet. But big win for FTR after a big win for the, against the Briscoe Brothers. Tag team wrestling. Way over here. That's, that's what AEW does good. Tag team wrestling and actual wrestling. And fans being into the matches. That's what AEW does well. Fantastic match. A lot of too many false finishers for me. I mean, dang, that move where the young bucks Matt takes puts a man on the mat. Four fifty by Nick. Then moonsault by Matt. There's no win. It was good. Dang, Cash Wheeler was taking some shots all day. You know, and but you know. Great job. Heel Bucks, they put the big rig on. Nope, no win. The ending was pretty sweet. The BTE trigger. Well, first of all, re sweet revenge. You do all move. Tit for tat, we're going to do yours. FTR finishes the Young Bucks. BTE trigger. Ugh! And the kiss. Seal it with a kiss. <laughs> Good night, Young Bucks. FTR shows that they are the dominant tag team in all of professional wrestling. Nice work, Bucks. Nice work, FTR. Nice work, AEW. Nice response. I can't watch this. Can't wait to see more show. AEW, never boring, action-packed all the way. B minus, nice response, keep it going, and I'll put it this way. Did I watch Raw? Nope. I wanted to see what AEW had to say, and that should tell you everything you need to know. And with that, it is time to go. Thank you for listening, friends. God bless you. This was a pretty rapid review. But I had to get to you. Because it's WrestleMania week, baby. You gotta talk WrestleMania. You gotta talk about intercompany battles. ROH is back. Ring of Honor's back. Wrestling's back. AEW responds. This Friday, baseball's back. And with that, good night. Keep it real. Keep it clean. Keep your feet on the ground, reach for the stars. Looking you dead in the eye. Thank you very much. I care about you. Stay safe. If we don't meet again, if we're blown up by a Russian nuclear hypersonic missile, we'll meet, we'll meet again in heaven. God bless you. I love you. Stay safe. Take care, friends. Oh, yeah. Die hard, baby.